So here we are going to solve this question. So on the RHS side we are having, so that's why it is nothing but a non-homogeneous differential equation. So one sum is there on the RHS side. Now here first step, what is the first step? So we have to assume that let d is equal to d by dx. So as we know, so in this question they will give directly d square by by dx square. Otherwise instead of for this part d square second order they will give y double dash. Instead of dy by dx they will give y dash. Okay, that is also possible. Now here they have directly given. So we'll proceed with this thing d square y minus 5 dy plus 6 y is equal to rhs side function now here we can take y common so it will be d square minus 5 d plus 6 into y is equal to 6 e power 5 x in order to find the solution of this thing we have to first form what see y is equal to what solution is equal to yc plus yp where yc is nothing but complementary function yp is the particular in integral or particular function anything is fine so first we have to find yc then we have to go for yp because on the RHS side there is some function that's why we have to find yp so both the things we have to find both the things we have to add and get the answer yc how to find we have to find the auxiliary equation which is nothing but in place of d substitute m and take only this part equated to 0 in place of d put m m square minus 5d plus 6 equal to 0 the thing is that you need to understand rhs side with no need to bother because lhs side only yc is considered okay so it should be 5m okay 5m okay now we, we can find this is nothing but a quadratic equation we can find the value of m very simple so how to find the value of m see here uh, we can we have to take consider what 6 into 1 right 6 into 1 so multiplication we, we should get 6 and while adding we should get minus 5 so we can take minus 2 and minus 3 so it will be m square minus 2m minus 3m plus 6 equal to 0 because what happens minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6 and minus 2 minus 3 is plus minus 5 okay from this we can take common m m minus 2 here also it should be m minus 2 so minus 3 will be outside equal to 0 so common it is nothing but m minus 2 is common so what is left out m minus 3 equal to 0 so it is multiplication factor so m minus 2 is equal to 0 and m minus 3 is also equal to 0 so from this m value will be equal to plus 2 from this m value is equal to 3 so these two are real and equal roots are not equal roots real and distinct roots so we can find using what see here very important note whenever you are getting real and distinct for example m value you are getting it as alpha and beta two different values real numbers as well as distinct distinct means separate numbers not equal so here the yc value will be equal to c1 e power alpha x plus c2 e power beta x this you have to remember okay so from here yc value i can write it as what c1 e power alpha x means 2x you can write plus c2 e power beta x is nothing but 3x c will remain c1 c2 will remain as it is so this is the answer for yc now we have to find yp also which is regarding the rj side so both the things we have to include so in order to find yp or we can call it as particular integral what we are going to do so we have to write it in the form of what k into 1 by f of d into e power x what is the meaning of this f of d is nothing but a function of d k is nothing but c what happens r is equal to r is a function of x e power k into e power ax right this will be the function given in the question if you see what was the question see here this so what is function of t function of t is nothing but whatever is there inside the bracket after taking out the y value common and e power 5x is sitting on the RHS side in this you can see that what is a value a value is nothing but 5 what is k value k value which is sitting outside coefficient of e power ax which is nothing but one here okay so we'll write it in this form so what happens 
वाई पी इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई डी स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव डी प्लस सिक्स इन टू ई पावर फाइव एक्स नाउ द थिंग इज दैट के वैल्यू इज वन सो दैट्स वाई नो नीड टू राइट वन इन टू ओके देन वन डिवाइडेड बाई फंक्शन ऑफ डी फंक्शन ऑफ डी आई रिटर्न नो नीड टू राइट वाई वैल्यू देन इन टू ई पावर फाइव एक्स नो इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप इज नथिंग बट वी हैव टू सी ए वैल्यू एंड सब्सिट्यूट दी डी वैल्यू टू फाइव दैट ए पर्टिकुलर ए वैल्यू so it is basically the limit so we are so we have to substitute the d value toward 5 so what happens to the function see here so yp value will become 1 divided by substitute 5 here so 5 square minus 5 into d 5 plus 6 into e power 5x so in place of d you have to substitute 5 whatever a value is there that you have to substitute so what will happen so 1 divided by 25 minus 25 plus 6 into e power 5x. Now, so what's the value you are getting? This and this cancel, so it will be e power 5x divided by 6. This is the final answer. Yes, this is the final answer. So y p value also you got. Now substitute both the values. So solution will be what? Y is equal to Y C plus Y P, so that is given by Y C value we calculated C one e power two x plus C two e power three x plus Y P value is e power five x divided by six. This is the solution.